Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. So in this video, we will see how to install the WooCommerce free PDF invoices and packing slip plugin. So this plugin will help you create free PDF invoices for each order, as well as it will create PDF packing slips automatically. And it will also attach the PDF invoice to the WooCommerce email that is sent to the customer. Here you can see the sample of the PDF invoice. You can also customize the PDF invoice. You can put the logo of your website on the PDF invoice like this. This is the address of your business. This is the customer's address and these are the details of the orders. This plugin will also let the customer to download or view the invoice on the customer's dashboard. Here, this is the customer's dashboard and here you will see the option invoice. So the customer will also be able to see the invoice option in their account. This plugin will also attach the PDF invoice to the email that is sent by the WooCommerce to the customer. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I am already logged into the WordPress dashboard of the website and I am on the orders page for the WooCommerce. Here you will see four different demi orders which are placed by the another user. Now let me show you the dashboard of the user who has placed the order. So this is the dashboard of the user who has placed the order and this is the dashboard of the owner of the website. Now we are going to install the free WooCommerce PDF invoices plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for the plugin WooCommerce PDF invoices. Here you will see the plugin. You will see the active installation almost 300,000. And this is the name of the plugin WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slips and designed by WP overnight. So this is one of the free plugins. So click on install now. And click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been activated. Now, here you will see the option PDF invoices. Go to WooCommerce and here you will see the settings option for the PDF invoices plugin. Click on PDF invoices. So this is the basic settings page of the PDF invoices plugin. These are the general settings. How do you want to view the PDF file? So I'll select open the PDF in a new browser or tab or window. Choose a template, simple. Paper size will be A4, test mode. So I don't want to check this box. So leave it as it is. Extended currency symbol. Enable this if your currency symbol is not displaying properly. So let's leave it as it is checked. Now the other settings, let's go to shop, header and logo. Here you can add the logo of your website. So I'm going to select the logo. Now here you will see the sample. How does this look? This is the logo. Now let's, these are the settings. Shop name will be, let's say, from Finance. This is the name of the shop. Let's add the shop address. It will be shown on the invoice. So let me add some dummy address here. Now footer, if you have any terms and condition, you can put the term terms and condition here. So let me add some sample. So this extra template field will be for the premium plugin. So let's save the changes. Now let's see how does this look. So this is how the invoice will look. Now let's go to the other packing slip settings. Okay, so this is the template of the packing slip. You will see the logo, the name of the company, as well as the address, and everything will be shown here. All right, so these are the basic settings. Let's go to the tab documents. Okay, enable invoice. It is enabled. Now, when do you want to show this invoice PDF file? So I'll check completed order. So it will be shown for the completed order. If you want to check any other option, you can check other options too. Now disable for 
processing these are the options where you do not want to show the invoicing so let's leave it as it is now display shipping address let's say always display email address display phone number and display invoice date let's say yes and display invoice number yes okay now leave the other options as it is this is the prefix before the invoice so let's say you can add any prefix so let's say shop and you will see it here shop one right now let's see how does this look okay here you will see the email address phone number and the address as well as the invoice prefix is here date is here the number is here payment method is also there Now let's save these settings. Now let's go to the status. So these are different status settings. I don't think you need to make any changes here. Okay, now here you will see a run the setup wizard also. So if you click on run the setup wizard, it will show you the setup wizard to change the settings for the plugin. So you can see that the first step we have already created it. So go next. So we have already uploaded the logo. So these are the basic settings that we already did, but this is the setup wizard. If you want to go through the setup wizard, you can also run the setup wizard. Okay, so these are the same settings that we created. So let's go through the setup wizard fast. So these are the settings. So if you want to show any action button on the PDF form, you can check this box. Let's finish it. Right now, let's go to the orders. Under WooCommerce, go to orders. Now, here you will see the options, PDF invoice and PDF packing slip. So if I click on it, for this particular order, it will show the PDF invoice in a new tab. Now here you will see the PDF invoice that we have created for this particular order. Let's see the packing slip also. This is the packing slip. If you want to print it, you can print it or you can also download the invoice as well as the packing slip. So let's close it. Now, when you install this plugin, it will also send the invoice attachment along with the WooCommerce email that is sent to the customer. Now let's go to the customer's account and let's refresh this account. All the orders are shown here on the customer's dashboard. Now here you can see that the invoice option has been generated. Okay, here you will see this. So customer can also open the invoice. So here you will see the invoice that we created for the order. If I go to the website admin and let's see, I'll create the invoice for the second order. Now let's go back to the customer's account, refresh it. And here you will see the invoice again for the customer. Now we can customize this page and it will show properly. Both the buttons will be shown properly if we customize this page. Now let me try to place a new order from the customer's account. Okay, let me add this to cart. So I'm going to place the order. Okay, so everything has been already placed. I'm going to select cash on delivery and click on place order. So these are the dummy orders that we are creating using customer's account order has been placed now let's go to the admin account and let's refresh it here you will see the new order let's go to the order okay so the order status is processing now let me go ahead and complete this order market has completed now here you will see the option to create the pdf invoice as well as packing slip so let me update it for the packing slip you can simply click on it and it will create the packing slip you can then print it and you need this packing slip for the shipping purpose here you will see the address where to ship this is your address the order number the order date and everything will be here the products also let's close it and now let me mark it as completed click on update okay, now let's go back to the orders Okay, so the mark the order has been marked as completed. Now let's go back to the dashboard of the customer. 
let's go to orders here you will see the new order along with the invoice so this is the PDF invoice that has been generated automatically for the admin use as well as the customers account now we will see the email that has been received by the customer after placing the order okay I'm already logged into the customers email account so this is the first email that the customer has received okay so there is no invoice attached to this now here is the completed order message thank you for shopping with us and we have finished processing your order this is the final email that has been sent to customer and here you will see the invoice attached to the email automatically so when the customer places order and when the order is completed the customer will receive the invoice automatically so this is how you can use the free WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slip plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.